In this video, we're going to see how to uh, sort this uh, table here by the column A. So we want to make sure that the names here appear uh, alphabetically, uh, which is obviously uh, not the case right now. So on our macro here, what we need is uh, potentially uh, three uh, main uh, variables. The first one is to identify the worksheet we're going to uh, be uh, in. So here is the number two. And we're going to identify here the last row and the last column of our table. First, we identify the worksheet. So as you can see, set WS sheet uh, equals worksheets uh, two. So that's the position number two. And then we find the table limits. So the last row and the last columns. So uh, all based on the first uh, column and on the first row. And then we're going to sort the table uh, based on the column A. So what we're doing here is actually selecting uh, the range first. So that's why uh, we're finding the limits of uh, the table and the data. Then we say dot sort. And we're going to uh, use the key number one with the range A1 here, and the order is Excel ascending. Okay, and so by uh, just uh, starting the macro here, which I did, we're going to uh, notice right away that uh, all the names and the data have been sorted alphabetically uh, according to what I needed, uh, meaning uh, from the column A. Uh, 